Hey folks, the Rational Loser here and welcome back to the ZetaCraft SMP. In the last episode we set up this amazing gold farm and now we need a purpose for all the gold that we are getting. So today we're going to be building the machine that will have us swimming in the stuff that we need for our mega build of Blackstone. And that is a piglin bartering farm. So let's get to it. So this farm will be built right below this, down in the bottom where the nether roof is. So we need to somehow get all this gold all the way down there. And a drop shoot is probably going to be one of the easier ones to do. But we're getting golden nuggets, not gold ingots from this. So we need to auto craft this stuff into golden ingots and then transfer it all the way down. So luckily we have this automated crafting table on our server and yeah it shouldn't be too hard to make. I should have all this stuff back at the house. So we need to go and get that, bring all the stuff up here and set it up so that we can get the gold ingots going. We're back home, I have pretty much got all of the stuff we need. So I need a comparator, uh, which needs sticks. Obviously I don't have everything. What's new there? Sticks, 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 sticks. Right, so I need some red stone torches. Perfect. And I can create the comparator, like so. And then I need an iron trap door. I have pretty much everything else to go. So it's stripped logs, the iron trap door, the comparator and the smooth stone slab for this type of crafting table. This isn't the one that you will get in 121. It is a mod if you are looking to get it. I cannot remake automated crafting. That's the mod's name. For some reason we couldn't get the back port working. So we had to install this to get it. So we've done that. I now also need two observers because this will be the, the clock to allow the, the automated crafter to hopefully spit out what it's supposed to do. I haven't actually tested that. Um, uh, read this way. Yep, yep, yep. Right, and that way. Does this spit out the gold ingots? So to set this up, you have the template on this side, which you just do this and then no. So do I need to create a, dis a dropper for this to work? And will it work? So I think I need a hopper under here. Let's see. I should have enough for one at least. Uh, chest and then... I need a hopper. Do it that way just for ease. And then I can do that. And then I a bit of redstone on top of that. There we go. Perfect. Right, so that works. So that's a bit annoying. Okay, right, that's fine. So at least I now know how this works. That's fine and dandy. So I have that set up and it is just a case of getting some more hoppers because we're going to need to basically put the hopper lines that are already in place into this new one. So I'm going to need a load of slabs as well, just for safety. And... Do I have a lot of hoppers just sitting about? I don't think I do. And I'm also running out of wood, so I'll need to go and get them. Oh, look, there's seven there. Will that be enough? Maybe? One, two, th no. Nowhere near enough. Okay, I need to go chop down a tree. Okay, we are back. I have turned this lot down because they are stupidly loud. So let's not get started because that's me being an idiot. Let's grab these and we're going to go down a wee bit, about here, and place this 
down. Yes, perfect. So I want to build this out in this direction. So I'll, th these, these will stay the way they are and I will have the hoppers come down into it. This is just so that if, if it does break, the overflow is there and we don't break anything else. So I'm going to come out a wee bit like this, a wee bit of safety net here and then come out another two like so i will put that one like that yep and then this one obviously facing into that and then we will have the automated crafter there oh i didn't want to do that i wanted that there and then i will have the dispenser not the dropper which I dropped. So put the dropper here pointing out the way and we'll get that like that. And then I will grab some gold nuggets, create the template and then I will get it to craft one. Perfect, so we have that sorted. I'm going to jump up here, grab some glass and I'm going to kind of encase this in a wee bit of glass like so and then when I put this redstone dust down it fires straight into my inventory didn't it? Why are you not firing? Oh, right okay, stop that. So they'll all fall down now and we can kind of gauge where it's going to land. So it looks like this area here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is because that's that done now. I just need to hook up the hoppers and let it craft. I now need to get a load of piglins to create the farm. But I need to build up a little area so that it will spawn and then trap a load of them, hopefully, in a little one by one hole. So it works, I can get these guys in. Now, there is a problem. They will despawn. Yeah, they'll despawn. That's something we don't want. So, I need name tags. So I'm gonna head back home. I am going to get another villager. This time I'm gonna get a librarian. Hopefully try and get the mending one. And then obviously trade up until we get some name tags and then we come back and we finish this up okay so that's it done um i have some piglins in i have had to set up this strange hopper line so this is a backlog 
basically. If I'm AFKing up here, this runs. I had to do it this way because this it wasn't accurate enough and to get it down there without uh, it just sitting because it does have a little problem that this redstone torch powers this hopper so every now and again this will stop working so unless this is continuously going then it will stop working and if I run out of gold then yeah it will stop working it's continuously running that's just because I'm loading the chunks, which is cool. But this, this is full. This is quite full. If I was to hit the button that I've put down here, this will start running. And we will get so many items from it at the first run. But as soon as that runs out of gold block, uh, gold ingots, it will stop until it's basically hit and reset again. So to reset it, there is this little button right here, which will reset it. Which will turn the torch on and off, firing this onto a spruce, spruce pressure plate here. And then once this is picked up, because they can pick it up through this soul sand for some reason, because this has a negative layer, that will reset the system and reset, reset. So if this doesn't fire fast enough to keep the ingots flowing, it will turn off. Which is really annoying, but... Feel safe makes it easier. And if I'm up here AFK or if anybody's up here AFK, then it's fine. It'll work fine and dandy. Uh, me being down all the way down there means this isn't running just now, which is good. But that means that this whole thing is just basically clearing the bob up the backlog of these. So like I'm saying, I've this is all for this breaking essentially for it to stop working so yeah i have a load of stuff in here that is for me getting this all categorized and set up to go so i need to do that i actually don't have blocks because i'm an idiot um i might just need to use these for this because i do have item filters here i've got 14 but I honestly don't think that'll be enough. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I'll get these and the boots and the books that will be coming in as well. Because there is enchanted books that come through. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to get this hopper line set up so that... I can get the filters going. Right, so let's get under here. And I want to come out a wee bit. So I want this to come down into... I didn't... Am I really that stupid? I didn't even bring the hoppers. Brought all the redstone. Not the hoppers. Right. Let's try this again. So hopper. I want this to come down quite a bit. Um, so I don't want it to be too high. But I probably will need... A lot more, I would say about there. Right, and then that will take all this down, hopefully. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Then, obviously, I will have the spear here. Up down here. And now, I need to get the redstone sorted. So, up I go. Yeah, so this is just an easy redstone contraption, honestly. Like, the amount of these I've made over the years. Stupid amounts. But obviously, I am an idiot and I forget that I do need blocks for this every now and again. Redstone. Dust. Like so. And I need... Then I need... <coughs> and then I need some more blackstone. Um, oh gosh. Jump up, put that there. Yeah, I Definitely don't have enough stuff. Um, when it come to it, I'll just use this stuff then. I'm not really caring about looks on this because it is literally just for me to get the farm up and running so that I can get my build done as quickly as possible. Go, and then I need to get down here again. Put this along here like this. And this might like this. This might light this up enough 
just for me to... I messed up? No. Is that right? That doesn't feel right. But it is. Weird. Right, now I just need the trapdoors. Did I not bring trapdoors? Pretty sure I brought trapdoors. Is there an obsidian pressure plate? No. That's not what I need anyway. It's a trapdoor I need. No. No. Nope. No, it's not. Oh well. That's annoying. Um, Looks like I'm going to need to run back really quickly and get a trapdoor. Alright, so the reason I wanted the trapdoors is so that I could crawl. There we go, and now I need my redstone repeaters and I need to place them into this, like so. This is what I love about this crawl stuff now, which makes it so much easier. Before you would have needed a mod that would have shrunk you right down, but hopefully this works and I don't need to kind of worry about it anymore. Come out here, um, right now I need to get the hoppers in place here. I'm going to need to take these away, aren't I? Yep, and that will just make it a bit easier. So we need to go along like this and then pop it facing into the comparator. You don't need to do this, it just makes it easier to know which way everything's going. And I then need to do the hopper line for this side, but I don't actually have stuff for it yet so I need to uh, I'm only going to create two of these this is for any excess or it's a basically a just a if I haven't messed anything up the the stuff that's supposed to go into these ones will go into these ones so that's fine now it is the case of the chests so I want lots of chests in this because I need lots of stuff so I'm going to throw this all together and that should be, yep, up to here, okay. So it's just going to be a case of me placing all these down. And there we go, that's all the chests in. Now I don't actually know if I have enough hoppers, which is fine. I mean, if I don't have enough hoppers, it's fine. I can obviously get more of them, no problem whatsoever, it is just a case of Having to put these all in. I think I should get this lot in first. Just so that we've got at least the 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 backup space sorted. And I'm not worrying about overflow. That's it. That's the word I need. Overflow chests. Oh my brain. It works sometimes, but not always. Um we might be fine here. I think. I just need to go up and put in the last few hoppers here and I think the very last thing I need to worry about is getting a dispenser set up so that if everything's full it will fire and destroy any excess oh yeah yeah I'm like why does the why is there no chest but the chest on the other side yeah oh wow that was fairly easy now I've got to get the filler stuff in, which is, oh wow, we've finished on 19 hoppers, just enough. I have these cobblestone things, I have no idea what they are, but they are our filler item. And then I just need to put every single item that we have here into one of the hoppers that stacks. And then it's a case of I need to find the ones that I don't have. So obviously fill them in with the filters like this and then put in item filter thing like this and hopefully this works. Should go to 41. Done. One. And then I just do it with the rest of them. And then I have spare ones available for any items that I didn't account for and put them in. So I need blackstone at least because obviously I used all that. And I think we are pretty much done. It's more just a case of letting this first run go. Uh, gravel in there and then that in there. And then creating obviously some item signs or like 
item frames to donate what's what and then I can throw that in there and I think we're done I think it's just a case of letting what we've had build up for the last week run its course and see what we get so we come up and we hit the button so like I said it pops out comes onto here hits the pressure plate they pick it up resets the system and if there's ever anything on it because they are taking their time then it won't set off now there's 10 piglins in there or there should be 10 and this will continuously just run now there is quite a lot of chests to go through so it's all fun and games so let's go and see what's down in the filler the overflow chests at the moment see if we've got any blackstone yet because i did see some of the redstone go oh fire potions as well i forgot about them there's some blackstone perfect and i can go and throw this in and then i am going to have so much blackstone that i'll probably have to set up a completely new filter on as well yeah i thought i'd seen more blackstone coming in there uh, what am I missing? Is it just that obsidian stuff? Yeah. So I've got crying obsidian, which can be made into something. These can't be made into... Well, that can be made into glass, but this can be made into blocks and stuff and respawn anchors. So that is quite a commodity. So I think we'll set up a wee filter for that. Um, throw the rest of the blackstone in there. Is it this one? This one here. And we'll throw that in there. Nice. And I just need to let this run. I have quite a, probably about 500 ingots to run through. And we're going to get fire resistance potions. We're going to get soul speed and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, this is this is going to be very profitable. Because we're also going to get like quartz and things like that. Which is going to be really handy for observers and stuff. And that will just run through. Oh yay, we finally hit the thing for blackstone. So that's good. So any blackstone we're now getting is our building blocks. Nice. And that is it done and dusted. It's a case of I need to let this run. And that has been five hours. Yes, five hours AFK up here. Uh, we did have a problem halfway through. And I think this has got to be the one of the funniest things to ever happen. It turns out that tortoises can hatch in nether so we have a tortoise here uh, so we've got a new egg up there which looks like it's already through one stage of cracking so i am going to have to breed up the tortoises we've got because they have hatched for me thankfully but i do need to get them bred up and get a whole load of tortoise eggs if this is going to continue happening then i want to be prepared especially if I need to take them out and hopefully not destroy the, the iron golem. Who knows? Anyway, let's see how we're doing. Last time I checked, we had about four of these chests left. Oh, right, okay. Right, so we're down to three and a half plus that. So probably about five chests in total. Six if it's the most. And yeah this thing's been running i did come down and switch some books out for taking i had to go obviously go and put some soul speed 3 on my own books and yeah we get quite a lot of the soul speed stuff so i'm probably going to get that up to soul speed C da, 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 da. soul speed 3 and take it to the 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 shopping district and sell them off there i mean it's not like i need too much from them so that's not a problem. How are we doing on Blackstone? So we've got a double chest, two double chests. Wow, that's really, really good. So about three and a half, no, two and a half double chests are just over, including the hoppers. So that's awesome. We've got loads of gravel then as well, probably about the same amount. That's a lot of obsidian, which is good. Obviously people want obsidian for nether portals and things like that. That's a lot of soul sand. Nice, good amount of string. Fire charges are good. I don't actually know what these fire charges can be used for apart from the like the firework stars, but I mean the gas traveler backpack sounds quite cool. Same with the, the blaze. Immunity to fall damage. <gasps> nice. Might sell them off as well. 
lots of arrows, um, quartz as well is looking good, a load of iron nuggets which is awesome, lots and lots of leather, now this is used for a lot of the backpack stuff as well, so it does all the upgrades and stuff like that as well, uh, the blank upgrades which can allow you to upgrade to this stuff, and obviously the netherite sort of sign of it, and nether bricks are fine, these would probably just be used for gimmicky stuff, uh, crying obsidian is quite alright, uh, it's used in very little but respawn anchor is probably going to be one of the better ones, lots of ender pearls, some blue obsidian which can be turned into uh, like blue glass which is quite a cool looking glass, and then in here I have got so many potions of fire resistance and all these other obsidian types that is unbelievable. Why am I getting a blue obsidian in there? Some more soul speed, nice. So yeah, it's running really well and there's still a lot to go. So that's, that's fine. I mean, I can keep this going and not have to worry about it as much. Uh, I do find that the, the gold nugget rate is actually a lot slower than what this is producing. So if I do do an AFK session with all of these chests empties out, it will turn off it's guaranteed to turn off. So it is a good idea that I've done this hopper sort of chest line. Bit annoying because it is kind of entity wise. It probably might slow down the server quite a bit. I'm not sure on that yet, but if it does, I'm sure one of the guys will let me know and I can try and figure out something to fix it. If it's a case of I just get it all to get made and then I just move all the, the gold into the hoppers himself when it's so let's see, so as you can see, it, it is, it's a slow, slow trickle of gold nuggets going in, like it's one every so often, yeah, see, it's, it's a weird thing, I thought I'd probably need a lot of backup, but to be honest, I don't think I'm even going to get to that point, hello, okay, it seems that we have a lot of gold nuggets hiding in here, good, 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 good. Yeah, because obviously these are powered by the redstone and will only go off when they are unpowered. That means there is a gold nugget being put into the system. So, I mean, that's it's all right. It's unusual, but it's all right. And I think that's pretty much it. It's just a case of I need to get more and more blackstone. It's going to cost me quite a bit of blackstone. But, like I said, I'm going to try and get the books together, get them over to the shopping district and set up a wee tiny stall for them because, you know what? We're all going to need soul speed if we want fast travel on soul sand. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy this video. Like button as well. And share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.